Hey guys, it's George. Welcome to today's video. As you can see by the title, today's video is all about how to dress like Hawassa. This is a new series on my channel where I show you how to recreate your favorite idol's looks. The looks featured in this video are from everywhere. Instagram, airport, stage, packed out and about, you name it, we're gonna recreate it. I'll be taking you through each outfit, exploring the key pieces, the trends, the silhouettes, and then showing you how you can recreate it yourself on a budget and also how you can make it your own. Mamamoo have just come back, so what better time to talk about Hwasa's amazing style, so let's just get stuck in. Okay, so Hwasa look one, I wanted to start with this because who doesn't love a neutrals moment? Neutrals are so in vogue right now. I can't believe it said in vogue, but neutrals are a big trend. And what I love is how she's got the neutral Versace bag, the neutral ribbed set. She just looks so great. And like the pictures are so good. It's kind of like the start of golden hour. I love this shot where she's got like one heel on and then one barefoot. A set like this, it's so easy to wear and you, it's an outfit you can really dress up or dress down. This is looking slightly more dressed up because we've got that asymmetric cut with the heel and the split, do you know what I mean? Whereas if she wore this with her hair down and like a pair of trainers and sunglasses, it makes it suddenly more low key. You get me, right? If you're going to recreate this look, I think it's all about finding the right tone for you. Like that's the most important part. This neutral's tone needs to look perfect on your skin. If you're looking to recreate this on a budget, I found this really nice ribbed set on Bershka. It's white, it's gonna look fantastic on everyone. I think this look great with your favorite pair of white sneakers. It'll look great with a little white sock to add a little pop to it. And this is white, so you can really go all out of how you wanna style this. You could add a little pop of color with a bag. You could go for a nude bag, a white bag, a black bag. It's a white outfit. The world is your oyster. But if you want to dress it up, I think this block heel sandal from Bershka in white as well, keep it tonal, an all white look. Ooh, bold. Don't drink any red wine. Um, I think this shape of sandal is a massive trend. Like in my How to Dress Like Joy video, I said that these shoes were big in the 90s. I remember my mum having them and they've, they've come back in. If you have a bit more sh money to spend, I think this asymmetric top from Mango, it's really, really cute. I love that double asymmetric strap. It looks really flattering. And then you could pair it with this pleated knit skirt. It's in a slightly warmer tone than the top. So you're not gonna be perfectly matching like Hwasa's, but oh, it's good. Like it would look so sick. Again, with like that 90 style sandal, a pair of trainers, very casual. And then I had to include this set. I think this is my favorite. It's just, if you have somewhere to go, an occasion to be where you're getting dressed up, I just think this set is so beautiful. Like the way that they've ruched, like the underneath of the bust, it's gonna be so flattering if you have a smaller bust. You've got the big puff sleeves, it's backless. It's just so, so beautiful. And then you've got that wrap skirt with the split. Ooh, like it's far from Hwasa's. Like Hwasa's was like, ribbed asymmetric but do you know what i mean it's within the same vibe but this is like if you have that dressed up occasion to go to like i said at the beginning if you want to make this look more casual and make this look more your own i think wear your hair down wear a nice pair of earrings get a nice bag wear your favorite sneakers with it and it will like pull the look into that more casual territory Next up, we have Wasa in this beautiful like tangerine suit moment. I love the fact that we've got this high-waisted like cropped booty short, this cropped jacket, this silhouette is so beautiful. I'm definitely getting a Versace vibe from this. I think it's that print underneath as well with like the chains. It's definitely giving me that like Versace, like strong, like sexy woman vibe. The color on her, it is, so good and like bright colored tailoring for summer. It's always a trend, it's always a thing. So I feel like if you're buying this to fit in the trend, go on budget. If you feel like this is something you're gonna pull out every single summer, then invest some money in some good tailoring because 
you can't go wrong. This jacket is a really interesting shape. It's cropped, it's a DB4, double breasted with four buttons, and it's got a peak lapel, which is like this kind of lapel where your lapel piece comes out further than your collar piece here. It just looks great. It's really structured, but it's like hitting her body all at the right points on her silhouette. It's just perfect on her. And what I love the most about this is the fact that she's got that really bright colored printed crop top underneath and it's just a great way to show you how you can put color with color the base of that print is still within like the orange color family it's just more red than the orange that she's got on and then we've got the contrasting hints of blue purple that brighter yellow it's just a very smart way to incorporate print into a color so recreating this look i couldn't find a short suit like quasses but i could find actual tailored suits and i think it's instantly more wearable. It's just an easier thing to wear, especially if you go for more of like a relaxed fit. This one from Misguided is really nice. It's in this like very bold tangerine color again, just the shade from Wasses is slightly different. I think it's really nice because you've got the oversized blazer and then you've got the fitted trouser and it's just such an easy way to wear something oversized. When you're going oversized on top and oversized on the legs, it's very easy for the outfit to swallow you, but when you wear something more fitted underneath one oversized piece, it instantly become so much easier to wear. Bershka have come through, like in this video, I found so much good stuff on Bershka. Like I'm super impressed. Here we've got this linen blazer. It's a more like pastel tangerine orange. It's such a good color, but this is a DB4 as well. It's got a notch lapel. So the lapel shape is slightly different to Wass's, but it's this beautiful oversized fit. And then the trousers that go with it just look like such a flattering shape. They hit you right on the waist and then they're a wide leg and they like skim right over the hip to the floor. So even if you don't have the confidence to wear a bold colored suit, even if you went for the blazer, you could style that with jeans, cycle shorts, like denim shorts, anything, like a skirt, do you know what I mean? And that blazer is still gonna be such a bold statement. If you have the money to invest in some good tailoring, I think this linen suit from Mango is great. Like this color as well, it's so good. It's more of like a mustier orange. It's called Russet on the Mango website. I just think it's a very nice shape. I like the fact that they've styled it with nothing underneath because you can really see the details of the tailoring. This is single breasted, two button notch lapel. I mean, in your day-to-day -day life, I don't think many of you are gonna walk around in a suit jacket with nothing underneath. If you do, just double-sided tape that shit down. We don't want any wardrobe malfunctions whilst you're in the street, but I just think it's great. I think it's a really flattering cut. And if you're looking to invest in like a colored suit for your summer wardrobe, you can't go wrong with this. Hwasa look three, we've got this super, super casual, but really cute summer moment. This picture is so, so cute. <sighs> What I love about this outfit though, is that we've got this floral green top on and it's in this really nice square neckline. What I love as well is that her neckline is coming right across the bust and then the shoulders are just on the edge of her shoulder. There's a slight puff, there's volume to the sleeve. And then we can see that she's got these high-waisted, wide-cut, distressed jeans, very 90s, very on trend, skinny jeans, dashed out the window. What's really interesting about Wass's jeans as well is that you can see that there's a seam like from her hip that slowly diagonally comes in and then at the hem it splits open and we can see she's got a black shoe underneath. To me it just kind of looks like a black kind of like ballet pump shoe which I'm not like that mad about but you could style this up like fuck the ballet pump we move and then she's got this shoulder like cross body bag of tassels i just think this is like such a great like casual moment to recreate this look i don't think you necessarily need to go for the same shape top as huasa it's not gonna suit everyone a square neckline is quite hard to pull off having a square neckline that wide, especially if you're like fuller busted, it might be like hard to wear. Or if you have very broad shoulders, having your neckline that wide, do you know what I mean? It's not gonna suit everyone. So I think the key here is to find a 
a floral top that suits your body, whether that's a wrap, a square, more of a spaghetti strap, a halter neck, do what suits your body shape. I really like this green floral top from H&M. It's got this really nice v-neck detail and then it's got ruching and like a drawstring detail. So if you're smaller busted, this will look good because it will add volume. And then the way that the sleeves are cut, it will just give a very nice, like soft feminine shape. And if you do want more of this square neck puff sleeve style of top, again, H&M have this beautiful red version. The sweetheart neckline is really nice. That's gonna be more flattering than just the square flat line going across. And I just think the sleeves are like a nice amount of puff compared to the rest of the top. And Zara, again, Zara have come through. What I like about this one is that you've got the square neckline, but it's not as wide as Hwas's. And then there's this really nice like embroidered detail into the fabric as well as the print. I think it's just very like soft. There are so many tops like this on the market at the moment, you know, floral spring, groundbreaking, that kind of vibe but they're just such an easy wear. You can wear them with shorts, skirts, trousers, jeans. So definitely a great top to have in your wardrobe for spring slash summer. H&M also have these really good high-waisted jeans that have the distressing at the knee. They don't have the split over her sh like shoe like Kwasis does, but I don't think you need it. If you've got the distressed denim, that's the more important feature of Kwasis jeans. And if these aren't a stone wash for you, you can bleach them. Bleaching denim is so easy. You just need to dilute bleach in a bucket and just let it soak and watch that color drain out. It's very simple. To make this look your own, first of all, swap out those ballet pumps for a nice pair of sneakers or a pair of shoes you really, really like. If you want to wear a pair of sandals, that would look good. Maybe a chunkier sandal like a Dr. Martens or a Birkenstock, that would look great. And then get a nice crossbody bag or your favorite bag wear it with this outfit. Just make sure the color of your bag goes with the color of the top. Otherwise it's just gonna be a bit like, eh, the finishing touch killed it. Hwasa look for, I had to include this look. This look is from her Instagram. This is so amazing. It's like this knitted suit. When you zoom in, you can really see that ribbing detail on the lighter panel of her blazer jacket. And then down the edge, it's more of like that like deeper like caramelly color and then I'm guessing the darker part is more of like a fine knit. I just think it's really really sick and I love the fact she's got that split again over the boot. You can see she's got this really like pointy severe boot on. It's got the block heel and then that really pointy toe. Her foot is so like this in the shoe like ouch. And then she's got that low slick bun, like the little pieces of hair at the front, like the bitch sunglasses, the gold earrings. Everything about this, like the styling is just on point. Like imagine how comfortable a knitted suit would be. Like Oh, cozy, I want it, I want one. When it comes to recreating this look, I don't necessarily think it's about going out and finding a knitted suit, especially if you're on a budget, you're not gonna find that. For me, it's more about finding a statement suit and keeping it neutral if you're going to recreate this look. If you're on a budget, I think this ASOS Manzi suit is a really great option. It's this really nice creamy neutral color and the pants have like exactly the same fit as Hwasa. They're very like fitted around the thigh and then they're slightly, th th they're so lightly flaring out with that slit, which will look great over your shoe. And then the jacket is more of a cropped, double breasted style with a peak lapel. I just think it would look so slick and it really sticks to this like neutral, like statement suit vibe. And the way you could style this as well, like, ooh, imagine this styled like Hwasa's, that slick bun, like the bitchy sunglasses, the gold earrings, the pointy boot. This would look so fucking great. Even if you wanted to dress this down and pair it with trainers, the trainers poking out from that slit, the sick cut, it would just look so fantastic. If you have a bit more money to spend on your tailoring, I think this oversized, again, like soft, creamy suit from Mango would look really fantastic. And I really rate the way that they've styled this. I think this knitted crop top with it, it works really, really well. If you're comfortable wearing a crop top, of course, if not, don't push yourself. You could go for like a nice knitted t-shirt and more of like a knitted vest in this like tonal, 
fashion like we have here. And then I like the fact we've got this wide leg pleated trouser. It's just uh, like suits are just such a trend at the moment, like an oversized suit, men's and women's wear. It's such a trend. You can, you could dress this up with a really nice like 90s mule style sandal. You could go for trainers, that slick bun, the sunglasses. This suit worn as separate would look so great. Like imagine that like creamy blazer with those like wide leg distressed jeans and a trainer great casual outfit. Hwasa look five, I love this because when you break down the pieces, it's actually very simple. It is a shirt and a pair of jeans, but it's the way the shirt's been styled, it makes it look like this very like stylized top, the way it's been done up and then it fits around the shoulders. In this shot here where she's sat looking over her shoulder, you can see that collar going across her back, the sleeves have been rolled up. So you could do this with pieces you have existing in your wardrobe. If not, all you need is a slightly oversized shirt so you can allow it to fit around your shoulders. Even a man's shirt would look great here. This look is also a great way to style these high-waisted wide leg jeans that are like such a massive trend at the moment. And I think once you have one statement pair of jeans in that cut, that really fit you well. You can chop and change in out all of these different tops, like the shirt here, the oversized blazer we just spoke about, that printed like square neck floral top. As I've said throughout this video, H&M have these really great high-waisted wide cut jeans. They have styles that have distressing in them, styles that don't. So, so just go for a jean that suits what you like. H&M have this blue oversized Oxford shirt. An Oxford shirt is traditionally menswear but you'll find that the cotton is more brushed so it has a softer handle. I think the trick when it comes to styling this is that do up all of the buttons and tuck it into your jeans so you're wearing it normally and then you're going to want to start to undo the top buttons until you can fit it over your shoulders and then you can roll your sleeves up and get the sleeves like up to the elbow three quarter length is up to you but I think this is a great way to style a shirt. And if you have a shirt that you love in your wardrobe already that is slightly oversized, you can do this, just try it. Another route to go down with this look is to go for this more like buttoned crop top vibe because then you've not got to worry about like styling yourself. You can literally just throw this on. This one from And Other Stories is really, really cute. I love that scallop neckline. It's got the puff shoulder and then it buttons really nicely down the front of that tie. Again, it would look great with this whole like high-waisted wide leg denim trend. Our final Hwasa look, Hwasa look six. I love this stage outfit look, this oversized nude blazer. It's, again, it's got that peak lapel where your lapel piece comes up further than your collar piece. It looks like it wraps over slightly. I assume it's a single breasted jacket, but they've just wrapped it over to create this blazer dress. And then she's got that wide belt around the middle. It looks great on her, this nude tone on her. So great. We can see that she's got this little vest top underneath. Obviously, if she didn't have anything underneath, like it would be very cleavage heavy, which I know is like a controversial thing in Korea and like Asian countries. And then I am can't we can't see her feet, but I imagine she'll be wearing some kind of heel, maybe like a nude heeled boot or a sandal, like that kind of vibe would look great. Even trainers or like a military boot would look great with this because you're contrasting like the masculine with the feminine. Like imagine this with those like massive chunky black boots that Rosé wears of a lot of very feminine things. That would look fucking sick. To recreate this look, I've gone down the oversized suit route again because wearing a blazer that's been belted on stage, yes, it works, but wearing this in your day-to-day -day life is not necessarily going to work. Going down the oversized suit route is more wearable and appropriate for your everyday life. I have found this absolute bargain on Boohoo. The color of it is perfect. It's that like nudey, like soft pink. And then it's single breasted. It's got a notch lapel, which is where your lapel pieces and your collar pieces are the same width. It's got that tie belt to snatch you in like quasses and it's this oversized fit. The trousers as well have this really nice wide leg about them. It's very much on trend at the moment. The only thing I would say is the ties around the ankles lose them. To me, it looks like they're literally just tied around the ankle to tie in with that belt detail on the waist. But to me personally, it's over-designed. You don't need it. It would look so great without it. And it would look so good with like chunky black boots, 
trainers, sandals, like these clear perspex heels that she's wearing. This model looks fucking sick. And the best part is this is 60% off the blazer, $24. The trousers, $17. And if you have more sh money, I think tailoring is definitely something worth investing money in because you are gonna get a lot of wear out of it. And tailoring is so beautifully crafted. Mango have this really beautiful oversized double-breasted DB4 suit, again, notch lapel. And then you've got these high-waisted wide leg trousers that have that complete detail at the front. So they're gonna add a nice bit of volume. I just think it's a really beautiful cut of jacket. You've got that single vent in the back and it just looks like such a good length as well, like hitting you mid fight Again, imagine this with those like distressed high-waisted wide leg jeans that are just everywhere at the moment, white trainers. The good thing about suits is you can wear them as separates. Even with the Boohoo one, you could wear that so easily as separates and it would look so amazing. I really rate Hoas's style. There's this beautiful like casual sexiness to it. I felt exactly the same when I reviewed her airport outfits and she really shows you how you can wear that high-waisted wide leg jean trend. I feel like everyone's clinging on to their skinny jeans. This is the way to go. Let me know in the comments what you think of this high-waisted wide leg jean trend. Are you clinging on to your skinny jeans or are you ready to let go? <laughs> What you should do next is check out my Mamamoo comeback reaction. I'll leave a little card in the screen here for you guys. I'm sorry, I don't know the name at the moment. I'm pre-filming and it's not up on K Profiles yet. So it'll be on the screen here. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed today's video and a massive, massive thank you to everyone who has subscribed. You are amazing. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.